<laughs> oh man, y'all like that uh that uh Bert and Ernie video so much, huh? That y'all wanted to continuously keep this going. So now it's Tom and Jerry, right? Tom and Jerry, that's that's the one. Well, here's the truth about Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Gather round, boys and girls. Carcino is on the road. <laughs> oh, man, y'all crack me up with this. But while I'm checking my mail, seeing who, who all the bills I got to pay, I might as well sit back and give you a Tom and Jerry story and keep you entertained during this time. Let's see, Tom and Jerry. Well, Tom, Tom came up in the comedy circuit doing mostly physical comedy. Then growing up in the theater, doing uh, performance acts on stage, Tom was always good at holding an audience. Very dramatic. Everyone thought he was an up-and-coming um, film star, you know, and... But it didn't quite resonate to jumping straight to movies and film. Tom won an audition for a show that they wanted to build around him. It's going to be called Tom and Friends. This is when they're going to have a lot of other characters there, a couple of cats, a couple of dogs. And they wanted to have a mouse. So... Tom and friends, they shoot a pilot. The pilot don't really go anywhere. It's okay. Tom isn't the problem. It's his counterparts. He's having a hard time getting the counterparts. So, they're auditioning people for the mouse. And we replace the mouse. And he's like, we need somebody who's energetic. And sure enough, here comes this kid who was auditioning for commercials and kind of blew up. And a lot of people liked him. He had a funny personality, did a couple of commercials. And they said, you know, let's try this guy out, this Jerry kid. So they bring this guy Jerry in, and he already comes in. Flamboyant, very bolsters. So when him and Tom met, Tom has already has the experience. Right away, the chemistry off the screen wasn't good. Tom's like, this guy here, I don't know. You know, I met him, he's all oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Heard about you and everything else. Heard you had a couple of plays. You know, yeah, I did some commercials. I did some of your work early on, but I didn't, I just thought that was too, you know, too much, you know, just to be going on stage and doing all that. So I said no to Broadway and just went straight for commercials and television. So he was a prima donna. So while they're doing all this, they're getting ready to shoot. They shoot the first episode and with, with just, Jerry as a test screening so they didn't use the friends they just used Jerry and Tom and man did the sparks fly and they said man we don't need any of those other guys these two are the show this is our Albert and Costello this is it right here Tom and Jerry Tom's like, you got to be kidding me. From a test screening? He's like, are you kidding me? This was great. You look like you wanted to kill him. He's like, I did. <laughs> He's like, I never ate a mouse before, but I actually thought about eating a mouse. <laughs> he was great. It's great theater. We're going to start shooting, and we're going to give this thing six episodes and see what happens. So they gave us six episodes. 
And once they gave it six episodes, it just continued on and became a huge success. Tom was his usual great self, but Jerry would always steal the show. All the spotlights, all the cameras, everybody wanted to interview Jerry. Jerry was booked. The fans, the trailers, everybody coming up to Jerry. Tom's getting sick of this. Tom's like, look, we got to change this up. This routine is, is getting stale. We got to start bringing other people in. So Tom brought in one of the guys who was from the Friends, who he worked with in the theater. Big guy, big bulldog, named Spike. They brought him in first as Killer, and they had to think of a new name for him. Killer was just a little too... Man, so they called him Spike. So they brought in Spike, and he said, hey, Spike, we're going to run this angle, you know, dog chase the cat, you know, and protect the mouse, you know. And Tom, you know, he comes up with the creative idea for the whole project. Next thing you know, everything starts to change. The whole routine flips. And everything gets thrown upside down as Jerry outsmarts Spike and makes changes to the script. And the episodes with Spike just didn't work. He's like, well, Spike's not really working too well. Let's bring in Spike has a son and he wants to protect his son from Tom. So they tried that out and that worked out a little bit better. You know, Spike had a little bit more of a purpose than just trying to protect the mouse. So Jerry had an idea. Look, if Tom's bringing in all these people, I'm bringing in the, the butts in the seat. I want a raise. So Jerry, he wants a raise. And he's willing to sit out episodes until he makes more than Tom. Tom is living. Tom goes over to the trailer. He's ready to fight Jerry. Jerry ain't having it. Jerry's kicking it up. He's got his, uh, he's got his milk. He's got some cheese. And he's sitting there with six and nine, and they having a great old time. Now, Jerry comes out and is like, you know what? Screw this unprofessionalism. I'm leaving the set. And I don't care how much I cost production. Until y'all work out my contract, I'm done. Now, Tom is upset and livid. But the studio's like, you know, Tom... We love you better. You're a professional. You're always on time. Jerry's always late. He's coming in here high as a kite. You know, he, you know he was banging three mice up in that room? <laughs> and I think they were blind. But anyway, that's beside the point. We love you, Tom. We want to do business with you, but Jerry's right. When Jerry's on that screen, that rating spiked through this roof. It's making you more money. If we take Jerry out, we're going to lose this show. So Tom had to swallow his pride and let Jerry make more money than him, even though the show title is still Tom and Jerry. Or Jerry wanted to change to Jerry and Tom. <laughs> they kept it as Tom and Jerry, paid Jerry more money. Jerry comes on the set, ready to go. He comes in there. He knocks out and nails his performance. One take. Tom is like, okay. This is, you know, maybe we, this can work. He came in on time. We knocked this out. Maybe this could be a good start. Maybe that was the problem. He just wanted more money. All right, he got it. Let's go to work. So Jerry decides he wanted to talk to Tom. He said, Tom, I'm sorry about things. I was a real brat around here. And he said, you know why? Because I know what was wrong with the show. We got to a certain plateau and we just stopped right there. We didn't go higher. And me, I always try to go to the next level. And Tom's like, me too, man. And let's work together. He said, great. You know, you had a great idea bringing Spike on the show. He said, didn't really work out too well. But hey, Spike was great in the episodes he were in. Like Spike, we might bring Spike back again. And that was the type of thing I like about you, Tom. You try to spice things up. But if you would work with me, I was going to show you how it worked. So in my new contract, I got some guest appearances that will be showing up. And they're going to help boost the show. He was, whoa, 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 wait a minute. 
He's like, yep, that's part of my new deal. Not only do I get the money, I got creative writing. I'm going to make changes to the script and add in a couple of guest features. So I got a couple of mice friends I'm going to bring around. <laughs> so he brings in this country guitar playing mouse. Early in the morning, he would buy it. Come on. Early in the morning, he would ride. Come on. Come on, get a bell, 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 bell. That was one of their most popular episodes on Tom and Jerry. It went through the roof. Jerry's making money hand over fist. Next thing you know, he, they introduce him to this white mouse, and the white mouse and Jerry are hanging out. You know, he's doing lines of blow. Jerry's not feeling like the Jerry he used to be anymore. He's a little bit more erratic on the set, more violent. So Jerry ended up hurting Tom one time, going too far. And Tom was on the lam for a while. Jerry tried to hold the show on his own. It wasn't working. People were growing tired of Jerry antics. Tom wanted to do some other work. And it never kind of panned out. And the studio ended up pulling the plug on Tom and Jerry. And Tom and Jerry never spoke again. They tried to do a reunion show. Tom said, I'll bite his head off if I see him again. So that's what happened to Tom and Jerry. Hopefully that was entertaining to y'all. Now I can go back <laughs> to doing my work and paying bills. Remember, LeBron loses chips all the time, B. He'll be all right. And on the Patreon today, we will go to school. As I've decided to do a live stream and do a live breakdown and inform you how all of this is going down in this world right now. And it's all going to be live on the Patreon. For, I think I should I do it for all the Patreons. I might do it for all of you. Because I think it might be educational for my Patreon. So anyway, don't forget, you can uh, hit up my cash app here. Carcino is the name on the cash app. K-A-R-C-E-N-O. Or you can hit up the stream lab. And thank all you guys who donated to the stream lab yesterday. I appreciate the love, J-Biz. All you guys, man. Appreciate it. You know, what times are being hard, that you guys are still thinking of me, that means a lot. 